There's a little VTVM fun. This is a Hewlett Packard. I think it's a model 410 if I remember correctly. Vacuum tube voltmeter. Very sensitive. Reads AC bolts, DC bolts, resistance. And I've got it right now. I'm using the AC probe, which has a small vacuum tube at the end of it to pick up the uh, amplitude modulated carrier wave coming off of a loop antenna. There you go, the whole picture of it. Sorry for the mess. I just set it up real quick. And it's just a, several loops of wire. I think it's about 50 feet of wire wrapped around this simple wood form. And a variable capacitor. It's forming a simple tank circuit. So when it's tuned to resonate with the AM broadcast band, it picks up the uh, signal. And I've got it connected directly to the demodulator probe right now. Again, just for picking up AC. What's good about this is good to I, very high. I don't can't remember what the specs are, but it's definitely up in the upper megahertz. So this probe is pretty handy for reading AC voltages. I've also got it connected up to a little a little diode to a set of old school headphones. I'm going to try to see if you can hear this. It'll be real quiet. I hope you're getting that. Anyway, now as you can see here, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this using the meter. I dropped off the channel. Coming back up. There it is again. And what's interesting about these loop antennas is they're very uh, directional. So if I turn it, I think I just, the clip just came undone. Well, anyway, let me see if I can hook this back up again. Sorry about that. Let me hook it back up. There we go. Uh, I won't turn it, but it's highly directional. And I'm turning off the channel. You'll notice there's no sound. You'll turn it back to see if you can pick up the sound. There's the sound back. And we're back in the signal. You'll actually see the needle fluctuate with the uh, AM signal. I can hear it. I don't know if I can get this to work. I'll try to bring the headphones up. I'll be real quiet so maybe you can hear it. Anyway, just a little bit of vacuum tube voltmeter fun. I use this uh, VTVM for vintage work. Often when I'm working on TVs, it'll call for using a vacuum tube voltmeter probe to read voltages. Um, but I like to do that because you're often getting uh, reading off voltages, comparing them to old uh, schematics where a vacuum tube voltmeter was what was used. So I don't always trust modern digital multimeters to reproduce the same uh, voltage readings as a uh, analog device like this meter. Uh, the the uh, very high impedance of a vacuum tool, vacuum tube bolt meter means it doesn't load down the circuits that it's reading. I mean, if you use a regular old bolt ohm meter and you read a very high impedance circuit, it'll simply load it down and the voltage will be completely wrong. But using a vacuum tube bolt meter, the impedance is very high Essentially, you're not really influencing the circuit with the load of it. 
Uh, I haven't tried this, but I think it would be a good tool also. Uh, this or a scope, but this might be fun too. We need just a signal trace with it, using the uh, again using the AC probe, which can demodulate um, high frequencies uh, and, and I'll read them anyway. Read the voltage of, an, of a high AC frequency, like a radio wave. I would think that you could go through and test each stage of, say, uh, an IF amplifier on a radio or a TV and see the gain that's going through each stage. So if you have a problem, you should be able to see the, ga the, uh, the, st the gain. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't looked in a while, but I think some old schematics used to actually show the gain of each stage in by 10 to 1 or 5 to 1 or 20 to 1 or whatever. And that way you could actually check to see if you are getting that, that kind of gain. If you're not, then it's, it could be a tube or a component or just something not tuned properly within the circuit itself. Anyway, a little bit of AM fun with a vacuum, tool, vacuum tube voltmeter. Bye.